next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. All right, so here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov. His future in all likelihood is in the UFC Hall of Fame, but his present is this fight right now, once again taking on a fellow top 10, 155-pound fight. And when you've done everything that Habib has done, that's all you see is the best the business has to offer. Yeah. And after the McGregor fight, his star shined more brightly than he ever could have imagined. I know how humble Habib is. I know how much he loves to live in uh, privacy. Right. I understand that. But when you beat a Conor McGregor in the way that he did, he became an international icon. And it shows as you watch him in his pursuits of of just opportunities and everything. But nothing is available to Habib if he does not take care of right. business in this octagon. And every time he steps foot there, he does exactly that. One of the most dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. Going into that Conor McGregor fight, UFC 229, October of 2018, had about 4 million Instagram followers. Yes. How about 15 million? You got some catching up. I mean, the next day, he was up to 10. It was unbelievable. That's what happens when you fight Conor McGregor and you beat him. Most lightweights say, top to bottom, the toughest matchup for them in this division is Khabib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. And it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. It's a Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of Mumbai, India, Assassin. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, only professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Imagomeda! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room? Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making fun. All right, so here we go with round one. And when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way. But given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plan seemed pretty clear. They're very clear game plans. But which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Leading over the left eye now. Beautiful punch. Oh, collar tie. And there comes the separation now. 
Well, he told us on Thursday, you don't get paid to fight 15 minutes to that end. Early takedown is there. His ideal fight is a grind as ugly as he can make it. It's better for him. And with this early takedown, he ensures that he can start to wear the gas tank for a long time. And they separate. He gets the elbow up into the top. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Nice punch there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. All right, now Khabib Nurmagomedov in the clinch. He makes it look so easy to get this fight to the ground. We'll see how soon here he chooses to change levels. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Oh! Oh, straight right! Big ball for land. Now he gets back to range. Oh! Perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great place to put that up the left. And they separate. Got the single collar tie. Beautiful body. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice kick. Huge block there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nurmagomedov gets in the clinch yet again. Let's see if he can get the offense going here. And he comes through with a big knee. Nice hook. Single collar tie now. Oh! He throws every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of You cannot eat too many. You got to get the elbow to the side. Otherwise, he's gonna land one that's gonna shut everything down. Some nice back and forth action here. This big punch land. Ooh. Oh, big kick lands flush. Wow, what a head kick. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nurmagomedov's kick to the body is blocked. Goes upstairs for an elbow. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Now the transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Settle down. Listen, you are taking way too much damage to the body, man. Right. You ready to fight? You ready? 
nice punch lands over the top. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh. All right, he engages in the single collar jive. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And they separate. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse. Absolutely nasty. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Nervago Meadow. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Can't take many of those. You better check. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job. As effective a straight punch as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Nermago Medov goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. We go. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after wrap. That is how you scramble, folks. Oh! What a fantastic strike this is to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Nurmago Medov gets back up again. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. Pretty significant welt to the left side. And they separate. A real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Single collar tie now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Big leg kick lands. Oh, single collar tie here. Ooh, what a punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Lunges forward with a left there. And potentially a critical takedown here. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in the jiu-jitsu guy's guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Oh, and he's back up again. Oh, a single collar tie there. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. And that's the end of round number two.
Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times, you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. It landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very badly. Third round underway. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh, Kalachai continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, nice land there by Nermago Menop. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. up now and now the damage is about to start oh he's got the ground and pound going now how good is that right hand back to the feet now nice head kick big punch lands over the top how's he gonna follow this one Roundhouse kick, add that to his highlight reel. Yes, they heard him in the last round, same exact one. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Liver kick, oh, big punch land. And he landed the right hand there. Beautiful leg kick throw. Nurmago Menov going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his... Oh! So there, I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. And back mount now. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Been busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Big punch lands through the middle. Ooh. And they separate. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Get him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, big left hook there. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, you put him to sleep. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. His opponent's feet on the hips. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, that is the end of the round. And some definite adversity for him here. Or so you would think the cut on the bridge of the nose is only getting worse. And that nose might even be broken at this point in time. So certainly something that bears watching as we enter this next round. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five, five minutes. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. The referee has seen enough. Merciful. Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. So a big win for him here tonight, and a big statement made with that TKO. Let's see how the promotion chooses to match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 13 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO Assassin. Well, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO. And if the judges were looking at their phones, it's okay. We don't need the scorecards. Tonight. We don't need the scorecards. Do as you may. Proceed as you may because <laughs> this guy knew that he had to finish this fight. That's exactly what he did. He got his opponent hurt, found the follow-up shot, and got the finish. 